All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x is equal to 512. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting 512. <clears throat> so 512, this is the same thing as 16 times 32. And now I can write this as 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x is equal to 16 times 32. Now 16 is equal to 2 to the power of 4 and 32 is equal to 2 to the power of 5. So this is why I rewrote 512 as 16 times 32, because now two to the, I have 2 to the power of 4 times 2 to the power of 5. And notice how we have another base of 2 over here, 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x. So now I can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 4 times 2 to the power of 5. Now all my terms are bases of 2. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So right here we have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 4 times 2 to the power of 5, which is the same thing as 2 to the power of 4 plus 5. And 4 plus 5, that's equal to 9. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 9. And also, instead of doing all that, remember over here how we had at the start 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x equals 512. 512 is equal to, well, we know that 2 to the power of 5 is 32. So 512 is 2 to the power of 5 times 2 to the power of 4, which is 2 to the power of 9. So we could just set at the start that 512 is equal to 2 to the power of 9, but we, but some people don't know that 2 to the power of 9 is equal to 512, so that's why we have to do all of that. So now going back here, we have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 9. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, we can say that m is equal to 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x, and n is equal to 9. So because these two bases are the same, this means that 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x is equal to 9. Now, 9 is the same thing as 3 squared. So now I have 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x is equal to 3 squared. And now again, I can use this property because both my bases are the same. So this means that 4 to the power of x is equal to 2. And now 4 is the same thing as 2 squared. So I get 2 squared to the power of x is equal to 2. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x is going to equal 2 to the power of 2 times x, which is 2 to the power of 2x. This is equal to 2. Now, I'm going to use this property again. 2 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 1. So then, because these two bases are the same, I get 2x is equal to 1. And now... If I divide both sides by 2, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 1 half. So now, to check, my original equation was 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x is equal to 512. So I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x is equal to 512. 
and we said that x is equal to 1 half. So our 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of 1 half is equal to 512. Now I'm going to work my way down from the top. So I first start with 4 to the power of 1 half. Now 4 to the power of 1 half is the same thing as the square root of 4. And the square root of 4 is equal to 2. Meaning I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 512. Now from here, 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 9. So I have 2 to the power of 9 is equal to 512. And finally, 2 to the power of 9, that's equal to 512 as we already said at the start. So we get 512 is equal to 512.